Hey everybody, it's Ben here. Uh, today I've got a Flux Mopeds EM1 electric scooter. Uh, this is like the equivalent of a 50cc gas scooter, except it's all electric. So of course there's no gasoline, no oil, no two-stroke, no mufflers, really low maintenance. It's actually a really nice little vehicle. And normally it features a removable battery pack, which is really slick because you pull the pack out, you can charge it inside your house. Uh, let's say you're a student, uh, you don't even have a garage to recharge in. So what, you take it inside, you charge it in your dorm room. In the winter, your battery pack's nice and warm. It's a great setup. Uh, now, my friends at Flux Mopeds uh, are selling the second generation version of the scooter now. This is the original version. And the newer version has a little bit different motor controller and a little bit different battery. Um, otherwise, it's still the same frame and everything like that. Uh, so what has happened because of this is they, they had uh, some customers who for their original version wanted an extra battery. So they have eight or nine of these scooters that they're brand new. They just don't have a battery in them. And it's the older version. They're, you know, they're not going to do a, a manufacturing run just to make a couple more batteries for these things. Which means if you're a do-it-yourselfer, you can get a really good deal if you can uh, build your own battery pack. So we'll come in close, we'll take a look at um, why this is actually a really good opportunity for somebody. And again, this is a, this is a brushless DC hub motor. Uh, it has plug braking, uh, it's a pretty slick little cycle. But let's look under the seat as to why this is gonna work so well for us. Now if we look under the seat, this is where things get interesting. The original battery would have gone in here, and if you had two of them, they'd go in here and here side by side. And then there's a pair of Anderson disconnects, one here, one over here, you can't see it from this camera angle, and a pair of circuit breakers. So all you do is you plug the battery in, flip the circuit breaker to on. And this is nice because that's a stock industrial part. You can get a 50 amp Anderson disconnect from uh, any industrial supplier or like Napa, for example, carries them. So here, uh, just in my box of miscellaneous electric car stuff, I already had a 50 amp Anderson disconnect with uh, oh, 16 inches of some nice heavy duty cable on it. So I could wire this up to some cells, plug it into here, flip that circuit breaker to on, and I should be ready to go. Now, another thing that's kind of nice is like nickel uh, batteries don't like to be charged in parallel, but I could make two strings, put one string to either of these Anderson disconnects. Now, the other thing, is this box seems kind of small, but I noticed it's uh, just held in there by a, a small bolt, which I already removed. So I can take this box out, and if you actually look, the space inside the frame is a lot bigger. There's still some more plastic that can be trimmed away. Now you get back to a certain point, there is a, you know, a steel structural member coming across here, but there's definitely more room to work with than what it looks like. So here I've got a nickel metal hydride battery from a Ford Escape hybrid um, battery pack. I got at a, a junkyard and we've got a lot of room. We could put a pile of these in here. Now another cell that would work really really nice are cell modules from a Nissan Leaf. Unfortunately I only have one spare module and it looks huge but we could definitely squeeze a number of these in here and um, for a 60 volt system we'd probably be looking at eight of these and I think if we trimmed out the rest of the plastic uh, we could exactly do that and then you'd have a hundred mile range scooter which would be uh, pretty cool. <laughs> so the other thing that's nice about this scooter is since it was designed for off-board charging there's no charger built in which is actually a good thing because it means you're not stuck with a very particular voltage or chemistry. So if these were designed for lithium and I wanna use nickel instead, I'm still okay because I'm gonna be using a, a different charger. I'm not stuck with one that's built into the scooter here. So I think what I'm gonna be doing next is I'm going to build a battery pack using a number of these uh, nickel metal hydride sticks and just a plain old Anderson disconnect and that shouldn't take very long at all to build a battery pack and take the scooter out for a, a ride around my neighborhood. So you stick around for next time when I build a battery pack for this scooter.